This is Kendall Nunley with the Garden Grove TV3 Sports Report. Los Amigos fans are showing their spirit. They want to keep up the momentum from last week's big win. Los and Garden Grove are both 1-0 in league and eyeing a title. On Garden Grove's first drive, quarterback Angel Martinez hands to C.J. DeReal for a nice gain around the right side. Then he finds the big target, tight end Josh Huff, who breaks a tackle and barrels into the end zone for a 20-yard touchdown. Garden Grove leads 7-0. Los wants to establish the running game, but the yards come hard for Jerry Saldivar as a gang of Argos are grabbing at him. When the Lobos go to the air, Christian Rodriguez reaches high and tips it, and Lorenzo Valderrama gets the interception and a short field. New dad Willie Puka likes what he sees from the Garden Grove sidelines. And CJ DeRiel slices through the defense to score from the five yard line. Gabriel Creo adds one, and the Argos lead is 14 0 in the early going. In the second quarter, the Garden Grove defense continues to frustrate Saldivar and the Lobos with team tackling. And Sona Mosoy will have to call this one the one that got away, so close to the pick. Huff again shows why he's a favorite target. He one-arms this ball over the middle and he won't be kept out of the zone. 21-0 Argos. Tight ends, quarterback's most favorite target. And when in doubt, I had to throw it to him. He was open, he caught it. Coach Carl Agnew rallies the team on the sideline. The Lobos decide if they're having trouble going through. Why not over? Here at Anthony Magana, it's picture perfect to Noe Perez streaking towards the end zone. The play covers 66 yards and gets Los back in it 21-7. Still second period, Masoy breaks free for a nice gain down the right sideline. Martinez keeps this one for the score from one yard out. Grove leads now 28-7. Sona Masoy was all over the place in this contest. Here in the Wildcat, he takes the snap and pushes his way for six. In the third quarter, Masoy is loose again. Here he lowers a shoulder and pounds his way 15 yards for the TD. And protecting the ball, he's in again with two and a half minutes left in the period. Masoy shares the credit. All the props goes to my brother, Maze Masoy, the fullback, and our linemen. Couldn't do anything without him. So thank you to my blockers and to the coach for letting me touch the ball. Coach Puka says the Argos are fast and versatile. That's our strength. I think our balance and uh, that we're spreading the ball around to a lot of different people. We can't really key on one guy. Grove wins this one 54 to 14. Congrats to Coach Puga and defense coach Cepeda and their families on bringing two new Argos into the world in the last few weeks. Argos are 2-0 and oh and face Santiago next. Los is 1-1 one and, one and meet Bolsa Grande in the coming week. This is Kendall Nunley reporting.